Ooh. Hi everyone. I'm super sorry I'm about 20 minutes late. It's not my fault. I have a crazy, crazy household over here. So um oops, I was looking for something. I was looking for something. All right, so if you guys are new to G1 Insights, I want to give you a very special warm welcome. Thank you guys for tuning in. As you may or may not know, I am a spiritual advisor who absolutely love to be of service, who give tarot readings and spiritual advice. I provide and make my own candles, handcrafted with love. I also do chakra bracelets, my love. I also do tarot readings and so many other things that the universe has blessed me with talent wise okay guys so feel free to chime in whenever you like um shout out to all of my replayers for those of you who may or may not know i've been doing this for a long time now you know i'm feeling pretty good about this like i've been doing this for a really long time now some of you already know me from facebook from going live all the time on facebook and my life has really been so crazy lately that i'm i literally try to get in where i fit in at in my own life isn't that crazy like i get in where i fit in at <laughs> So I'm going to just share with you a little bit of love. It's Tuesday for the past two Tuesdays. Um, I have not been able to do my live tarot readings on Tuesday. So I wanted to make this up with you guys and continue to do our $5.55 live tarot readings on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. We're going to work on getting our time down packed though. I hope that you guys can assist me with this. Okay, we're going to work together on um getting me on time right yeah see that's why i love you guys i know you guys are gonna help me so shout out to all my replayers and again shout out to those of you who are just tuning in you guys are amazing and i thank you for all your love and support guys please check out my website g1insights.org for more information to find out a lot more about me i am going to start off by reading every zodiac sign and in the meantime, if you guys would like, you can submit your questions or your many concerns that you may have about your zodiac sign, or maybe you have a question about someone else. Who knows, right? I mean, here at G1 Insights, listen, we let it all out here, okay? There are no secrets. We don't bite our tongue. We speak our minds. We spread love and light. So speak your mind, speak your truth. Let's get heard out here on this platform. And I'm going to go ahead and begin. Because you know me, I can, woo boy, you guys know I talk all day long. You guys know I can talk. I do have YouTube, honey. Hi, by the way, it's G1 Insights. G1-I-N-S-I-G-H-T-S. I have been doing live tarot readings for years now. It's something I extremely, really love. Um, I do it all the time. Oh, Aquarius, wow, that's awesome. I actually just did Aquarius video, um, I think it was like two days ago, I just did it. Yeah, I think I just did it like two days ago or something. Um, I did, I'm doing everybody's reading um, for September and October on my YouTube channel. So whatever you hear tonight, if you want you know, more information or if you wanna know more about your love life, your career, your finances, um, any other personal issues that you could be dealing with, of course, you want to check your sun, moon, your rising. You want to also make sure that you um, double check everything. You know, listen to the video, see if it resonates. If you feel like you need something further, then of course, that is what these readings are for right now. Like the live readings, you can do something personal. Maybe you don't want everybody in your business, right? Or you can just simply um, chat here. It's totally fine. I'm here for you guys. I'm here to be of service. Um, I take no glory of this for myself. This is something I really have grown to love as a person. And I'm excited to share this all with you today. Um, I feel like the universe has a really strong message for all of us. And for the past few months, I have been using a lot of animal energy here. So, and thank you for the subscribe, guys. Thank you so much. Is it Persian? Persian brown sugar? That's beautiful, by the way. I like that. It's different. I like that. All right, so let's get started. I'm actually going to start off with Aries today. So let's begin with Aries, okay, guys? And once again, shout out to all of you that are just now tuning in. Shout out to all of you that will tune in later or maybe tomorrow. 
um i'm gonna try my best to save this video and then maybe i'm gonna try to see if i can actually upload this to either facebook or um youtube so you know we just gotta again we gotta get in what we fit in that okay so your sun sign you said that you're an aquarius when were you born when is your birthday um i don't need to know the year or anything it's not my, really my business but um i'll give you so if you're a moon sign your rising sign um and your moon sign can be found i actually have a few websites that i can recommend um cafe astrology is one of my favorites highly recommended um i've been using their tools for years now i've actually done some classes with them um and some tutorial um tutorial excuse me i said tutorial <laughs> some tutorials with them um and again some lessons i've learned with them with that website so it's really recommended highly recommended um i will also go on to um what is that site that i like to use it's called um there's another one that recently became one of my favorites. It's called Community Consciousness. Um, if you want, if you want, oh, you're a January Aquarius. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so if you're a January Aquarius, um, if you're a January Aquarius, you'll probably have a lot more flamboyant um, moon or rising signs in your energy. I would just check out cafeastrology.com or check out Community Consciousness. Okay, if you want, I can send you those links once I'm done with everything. And then you will be able to check out. But your sun sign is Aquarius. and But your moon and your rising sign is something totally different. Your rising sign is basically what you uh, project to the rest of the world. Your moon sign is definitely something that you, like how you deal with your emotions. How you channel your emotions. How you deal with other people emotionally. Um, that's something that's definitely internal. So, um, that's something really good to really know. Like, for instance, I have Taurus Moon, and I know that, you know, when I'm feeling really upset, I can almost bet your last dollar that I'm very stubborn. I don't want to talk about it. Don't even look my way. Like, you know, I get very stubborn, right? So, when it comes to my emotions, I can be a bit of a... <laughs> All right. <laughs> So let's get into this, guys. So Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Aries. Sweetheart, also check out your Venus energy, my love. I wouldn't be surprised if it will be Capricorn, but check out your Venus energy as well. That's all about love, your finances, your money, your wealth, um, your career as well. Check out that as well. So this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Aries. This is for the Aries man and the Aries woman. Once again, thank you for tuning in. Calling on spirits and gods or gods and goddess. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Aries, you guys are ready? Shout out to all of you that are going to be tuning in later on. All right, here we go. So, Aries, you had the B energy, guys, okay? So, it talks a lot about creativity, cooperation, and productivity, okay? You are being guided to change something, Ooh, what do you think it is, Aries? What do you think it is? All right. You are being guided to change something in your life. Become inspired. Oh, yeah. Become inspired. Get ready to take the world by storm. Because guess what? Something that you were previously going through, that you were previously going through, has really kind of put a kind of put a dampening on it. You know, like it's like no matter what you were trying to do, it's kind of like every time you try to do something positive, here came the negative. Or every time you try to speak positive, here came this negative or these naysayers in your ears. Right, Aries? So what you're going to do this time around is you're going to look at the possibilities of life. You're going to live your life more free. You know, you're not, you know, just like the bee, just like the bumblebee, you know, goes around making everything beautiful. And, um, you know, so... One thing I know about bees is that they don't sting you unless you bother them, right? Duh. Don't mess with me. and You ain't got to worry about me messing with you. I'm here to live a beautiful life, to spread love and light while you keep harassing me. So this is a time where instead of focusing on so much of the pain and what people are trying to do to you and how much they're trying to hurt you or destroy you, you're going to use this energy to show them just how much 
um, you can be without them or just how much you have grown without them. You're going to use this energy to really kind of bounce back from all this negative stuff that you were dealing with for the past few weeks, okay? So it says here, follow your heart and creatively build your future with today's decision. Again, we're not going to focus on the past. We're not going to worry about who disrespected us, who hurt us, who um, wandered off and who lied and who cheated. We're not going to worry about that. We're not going to focus on, oh, you hurt me or you owe me or no, no, no. Honey, when I kid you not, I'm going to tell you something, Aries, is that, you know, the best way to manifestation is to not focus on the past. When you're trying to manifest anything wonderful into your life, my love, you don't want to stay focused on um, unforgiveness, okay? You want to forgive. You want to give back. You want to be of service. You want to do all the things that go against that pain that you are feeling. So in other words, you want to do everything that really brings happiness and joy to your life instead of focusing on the hurt that you are currently dealing with, okay? Starting next week, Aries, there's going to be some major shifts happening, transformational energy coming in, okay? And that's going to happen for a lot of you. That is going to happen with your career. That's going to happen with your finances. That's going to happen just simply even around your whole energy. Mars is actually going to go retro grading your sign this week um yeah so we have a lot to look forward to when it comes to kind of taking a break or taking a step back on a few things so again instead of you being impulsive and ready to take action and lash out you're taking more of a smooth approach like you're being more um more loving about it you know like you know what i don't want to fight today you got it you know not saying that you're weak but you're again you're taking this whole approach of I just want to be happy. I'm not trying to fight with you. It's okay. You know, you got it. It is what it is. Because I feel, I just heard, my peace means everything to me. At this time in my life, my peace means everything to me. So Aries, if that is you, honey, this is definitely your energy. It is time for you to focus on your creativity, to cooperate, and to be productive. Do something that you absolutely love, okay? You have no limitations and there are no boundaries to your capabilities. Any assistance you need will always be found, okay? You are guided for all of your today and all of your tomorrow. You don't have to sit here and have to feel like you have to beg someone to help you out. If they don't want to be there, if they don't want to help you out, to the root, you know, bye. It is what it is, right? Like, because guess what? Most of you know who's in charge, right? You know divine source. You know what you've been through, where you came from. You know where you're heading. You know where you're going. And at the end of the day, Aries, the last thing you need is another naysayer in your life. If you don't believe in my passion, honey, that's totally fine. But I believe in me. So, Aries, you got to do what you got to do, my love. And this is not a time to sit here and continue to feel sorry for yourself. Get up. Get that job. Get that money. Get back to who you used to be. It's time to bounce back. Okay, not bounce back from in, into that part of your world where you felt sad and depressed. Oh, no. You're going to bounce back to that person that was happy and that was glowing. The one who here was growing when you was fabulous and looking all good and whatnot. Right? That is who you are going to get back to. And my love, you can only get back to that when you learn to ignore the naysayers, my love. Oh, Aries, I felt that. Mm, I did. I felt that for some of you. All right, so we're going to move on to Taurus. All right, Aries, Taurus is next. Taurus, I love you, I love you, I love you. I know that you're my moon sign, so please give me something good. <laughs> All right, so let's see, Taurus. I mean, I did uh, do Taurus video for September and October. I didn't upload it on YouTube yet, guys. So if you are looking for your video for... Um, September and October. I didn't do it yet, but I did do it for August. Well, August is over with, so mm, it doesn't even matter, right? So let's just move forward. All right, so Taurus, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and Taurus is for the Taurus man and the Taurus woman. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Calling on the spirits and gods, or gods and goddess. Calling on our archangels and our God and angels. Thank you. Oops. Wow. Okay. Black Panther. Da da da. All right, Taurus. So it says to be independent, Miss Independent. That's why I love her. Mm -hmm. I 
title fucking song go. I don't know. Don't 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 judge me. Okay. Listen. Clever, fascinating. Ooh. Who are you fascinated by? Or what are you fascinated by? Mm -hmm. Okay, it says you, my love, are being guided to observe. Misindependent. Listen. Mm. Observe your surroundings, my friend. Okay, and keep your own counsel. Stop telling everybody your business because everybody ain't going to be happy for you. Everybody are not happy for you. So stop telling everyone your business, my love, okay? Be your own counsel. Keep your own counsel. If you absolutely feel like you need to talk to someone, make sure that it is someone who will have your best interests at heart, okay? Find clarity and then express your inner and outer beauty to the rest of the world. Find your own beauty, okay? Find clarity. Know who you are. Know that you know that you know that you know. I've talked about this all the time, Taurus. Uh, good news is your confidence is coming back. The good news is it is time for expansion. The good news is all the planets that were going retrograde in your sister sign Capricorn are no longer going to be going retrograde at this time. So, Taurus, you have a lot to look forward to when it comes to connections, meeting new people, getting back out there into the world, networking again. If you're single and looking for love, this could be a very uplifting and inspiring moment. If you are already coupled up, then guess what? Things can only go up from here. So, it is telling you to just hold on. Look at your surroundings. Is it really that bad? Is it really, really that bad? When you take a look at your love life, does it really suck? You know, and if your answer to that is, well, yeah, okay, then it's time to do some observations. It's time to check your belief system, my love. That is the issue here, okay? Pounce on the opportunities that feed your soul. Pounce on the opportunities that feed your soul with purpose and with passion. Do something that feeds your soul. When you fall in love, make sure that it's because that is you and your soul are in alignment together. When you are out there into the world and you're networking, make sure that you and whatever you are doing, make sure that that is all in alignment. When you are making new friends, make sure that it is all in alignment. You don't want to bring on energy that is no good for your soul. Feed your soul good energy. Surround yourself around good people. And I promise you, my love, your world will continuously change, okay? Awaken now to your personal powers, talents, and freedom. So for you, Taurus, this week is all about networking, refining yourself, or not refining yourself, kind of reevaluating your circumstances, reevaluating your situation. You know, is it really that bad? Of course, I know the month of August was like womp, womp for some of us, right? And then it's like the month of September starts off like kind of like a roller coaster in a sense. But I promise you, going towards like the second by the third week of September, Taurus, you won't be going any of those things. So I promise you, my love, it can only go up from here, Taurus. So do not give up. Hello, Saunders. I know I say Saunders, but should I call you Patty? Like, would you rather me say Patty or Saunders? I don't know. Okay, so we were just talking about Aries. We just got finished with Taurus. Taurus, I love you. I hope that that brought some type of clarity to you. Um, if not, please stay tuned for your monthly focus for the month of September and October on my YouTube channel. I did record it. I just did not get a chance to upload it, my love. So let's go ahead with Gemini. Okay, Patty. <laughs> Hi, Patty. How are you, honey? So we're just doing some live readings at the moment. We just did Aries. We just did Taurus. And now we're going to, uh-oh. And now we're going to go and do Gemini. Gemini, my intellectual, I just gotta know, I'm just so nosy, I gotta know, Gemini's. <laughs> Gemini, I love you, don't beat me up, okay? You guys are amazing, I love Gemini's for their intellect, oh my god, like they are so brilliant in some aspects, I just wish they weren't always like so silly, 
Because in my opinion, it takes away from the whole smart part and the whole intellectual part. But you guys are so silly all the time. And I mean, I know who you, how you guys are. So it doesn't bother me all the time because I know how you guys are. But to, the, to some people, you're probably like, okay, you say you're so smart. Then why do you act so, you know, Gemini, stop that. You got to stop that. Like, because you, you're a lot more equipped than people think you are and that is the sad part i feel like you have so much more to offer but you play around so much you play around so much gemini you gotta stop that you gotta stop that listen let's let's go forward with these these readings okay hold on one second i got something on me all right so this message is for gemini someone arising on venus and gemini i call it this for gemini man and the gemini woman Calling on spirits and guides, or guys and goddess, calling on archangels and my guardian angels. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for abundance and prosperity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gemini, you are the butterfly this season. All right, this week is all about being free. Ooh, it's all about being free. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's all about being free in your mind, in your body, in your spiritual transformation, in your soul. It's all about being free. Gemini, yes, you just heard me talk about how silly you guys can be, right? But let's talk about how free you can be. Ooh, listen, you are being guided to embrace change and detach from what no longer serves you. So if you know that you are with someone who is constantly trying to hold you back, it's time to let it go, Gemini, okay? If you know that you are working a dead-end job that's not paying you what you solely deserve, okay? If you know that you're in a situation with friends or like even family members, yeah. It's time to dead what no longer serves you, Gemini. It is time to be free. Free yourself from the chaotic moments that have been coming at you. Okay? Free yourself from the unnecessary drama. Free yourself from a job that do not appreciate you. Free yourself from a relationship that does not make you come alive when you just want to be you. Kill it. Kill it. It's time to be you. It is time to live your truth. And it's time for you to be free. Some of you are starting a new career, starting your own business, starting a new job, moving to a new place, having a new relationship, having a new baby. I mean, I see new beginnings all around you, Gemini. I see new beginnings all around you, my love. But listen to me. When you find yourself and you are in a position that is truly making you depressed, Listen, I thought you guys said that you was about your money this year. What happened about that? Stop letting people, you know, distract you, one. Two, stop allowing situations to um, put you in a position where you feel like you can't be yourself. Who wants to live like that? No, I don't know about you guys, but I do not believe in living my life with restrictions, okay? Yes, I am careful, but I do not live my life with restrictions. I believe in the higher power. I believe that I can be happy without being held down all the time. And that is not who you are, Gemini. You were born to be like the butterfly. Constantly evolving, constantly changing, constantly going on to the new and better phase of life. And how can you do that if only... You're only comfortable with what you see here. The Geminis that I know are never just comfortable with what they see. They're always seeking better, better, better. Okay, that's me. That's how I'm with it. Like, Geminis don't settle for less. Every Gemini I've ever come across have always had this upbeat personality about themselves. Even when they are going through things, they still smile and they still walk through the fire. They still walk through the flames of pain. And they're still, guess what? I know Gemini's will still take off their coat and say, hmm, you got it, bruh. Like, here you go. They won't ask you for a thing because that's just how naturally sweet you guys are. You guys are so genuinely naturally sweet and you don't like to see people suffer, but you also just naturally love to have fun in life. 
And when it seems like there's always a problem, like there's always a struggle, there's you always have to cry, you always have to get into a fight, there's always chaotic moments with your lover or with your friend. It's like, oh my God, like the, oh, this person just loves drama. <laughs> as much as Geminis love to talk and love to gossip, they don't like when you bring that shit in a circle. Like, excuse me. Okay, yeah, this shit is funny. Yeah, because like I said, Geminis are always silly. So yeah, they may laugh and they may joke with you. Just don't bring that shit in a circle. They don't like that. They don't like that. So when you feel like, and so some of you that could even be dating a Gemini at this point, be careful not to come at them with too much. Like, you know, too many demands or too many questions or too much drama. They ain't got time for that. They th listen, <laughs> last year when I was doing Gemini readings for 2020 and I was doing the early January and February moments in uh, March and April, one thing I, I noticed for those first few months is that Gemini's was about their money this year. <laughs> we ain't got time to be beefing with you. So guess what? I'm moving on to better things and not everybody's going to be okay with it, but it is time for that. It's time for the transformation, my love. I feel like a lot of us are going to be going through this transformational period. But for each and every last one of us, it's going to play out differently. Even if you're a Gemini, your sister's a Gemini, both of you are going to go through transformations. It may not be the same exact transformation, but you both are going to be going through some form of transformation. So, what does that mean? That means it is time for a change is time for a transformation in your mind in your body and in your spirit it is time for you to realign yourself with what you already knew and what you already know okay you already knew that this was going to happen why are you so surprised you already knew that they were not necessarily the one for you but yet you just couldn't help yourself because Gemini's they just gotta know that they gotta know they gotta know so they're gonna try it anyway <laughs> and you guys remind me a lot of Scorpios in that sense. Like, um, you guys just got to know. Like, excuse me. Okay. I know you said not to deal with him, but I'm going to deal with him anyway. Okay? Like, I'm attracted to him. He's good looking. Yeah, she fine as hell. I know she bad as shit from my spirit, but I'm going to deal with her anyway. Just, you know, just for the hell of it. <laughs> but Geminis are so silly. You guys have just do you and be like, all right, I'm done. I have fun. It's over with, you know. It's time for a transformation, Gemini. Oh, and next I have my wonderful, most emotional, most sensitive, most possessive, most crazy, most funny, most creative cancers. Mm, make some noise if you're a cancer. All right, I'm grabbing the wrong deck. That's all right. <laughs> I was grabbing the wrong deck, guys. I was being silly. Okay. All right, so let's do cancer, guys. All right, this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus. Le I mean, whoop. this is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Horizon, or Venus, and Cancer. This is for the Cancer man and the Cancer woman. Thank you for all your love and support. Thank you for abundance and prosperity. Calling them archangels and guardian angels. Calling them spirits and guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for clarity. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, Cancer, are you ready? Okay. Give me one second. Oh. So guys, for whatever reason, if you can't um, find me on YouTube, which you should, um, just go on my website, g1insights.org. My, all my social media links that I use most frequent um, are listed at the bottom of my website, okay? All right, guys. So, cancer, 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 cancer. Oh, yes, 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 yes. All right, cancer, let's go. Oh, of course, you are the cougar. Mm hmm. Cancer, you are the cougar. Wow. You are being very, very. I got this. Don't worry. I'm focused, I'm stable, I'm working, don't bother me. 
Oh, I just got hot, Cancer. I'm sorry. I just got hot. <laughs> Talking about you. <laughs> Listen, it says you are being guided to be attentive. I mean, well, damn, how attentive could you be? I mean, well, sh you know. Listen. Cancer, listen, I know you. If anybody can be attentive, it is definitely you, okay? Uh, be attentive towards the universe who nudges in your life. <sighs> Ooh. Like, you know how you go crazy when you're looking for your man? You're like, hello, why you not picking up the phone? Like, you know how that attentive, how you can be? Or like, when you wondering when your kids at, you're like, why you ain't home yet? You know, like that type of attentive? Yeah, like the universe is like, well, can you be that attentive to us? Because we got some signs and some synchronicities for you. We got a message for you. And we need you to hear us out. Okay? We're talking to you in your dreams. Your ancestors are calling upon you. Okay? Your spirit guides are speaking to you through your dreams. Mm-hmm. When you're at work and you're daydreaming. Or when you're feeling really inspired by your muse and you're sitting there wondering what is life doing and when you're feeling really confused and you're feeling really down and out, the universe is like, hello, we are trying to speak to you. Would you wake up, Cancer? Wake up, wake up, wake up. The universe got something amazing for you, my love. Listen, I don't know why I just got hot. As soon as I started talking about Cancer, my ass got hot. This is some bullshit. I got hot. I shouldn't be getting hot talking about cancer, okay? I should have got hot talking about like Leo or like Sages or something like that. I shouldn't be getting hot talking about a water sign, okay? If anything, I should be feeling cool, okay? It could be this hot ass black shirt. Who knows? I don't know. Okay, make your decision, cancer. Take a risk and step outside of your comfort zone. If you change your approach, you can change your direction. Each inspired action, each inspired action taken will deliver you to your heart's desire. So, Mars is going to go retrograde. And for some zodiac signs, that's a very bad thing, right? But for you, Cancer, this is, oh, I got a second chance. This is, oh, I can be me now. Remember what I said? I don't know if you cancers were watching or if you tuned in and didn't really hear a thing, but listen, there have been a lot of planets that have went retrograde in your opposite sign, um, Capricorn, right? Like Pluto, Saturn, Jupiter. Ugh, thank God that's over with, right? Like this is the month where those planets are not retrograding anymore. It's going to go direct. Saturn is going to go direct in Capricorn at the end of September. Jupiter is going to go direct this month, like literally, I think like at the end of this week, which is the purpose of me doing these videos from September uh, 10th to the 15th, okay? So we got a lot to celebrate because Jupiter represents expansion, getting noticed, <laughs> okay? That is what Jupiter is all about, mm-hmm. Right? So, when you have planets like that in Capricorn, what happens? Money expands, business expands, you become a lot more serious. If you're not already feeling really serious today, like, I don't know about you guys, but I felt very serious energy today. <laughs> I was like, okay, chop, chop, let's go, let's go. You know. <laughs> like, that whole Saturn energy was like, had me, like, working, my love. It had me, like, okay, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Okay, so listen, if Capricorn is your opposite sign, Cancer, I'm almost certain that you guys are going to be doing the same thing, but instead of being so aggressive like Capricorn, you'll be a bit more um, sweetheartish about it, you know? No, I really need to take care of this because I don't really want this to go to waste. I really don't want this food to spoil. I really want to donate to charity before I spend all my money. I really believe that we should invest into this now. I really believe that we should pay the rent now. Like, you guys have a lot of passive energy about you. But the universe is saying, no, it's time for you to be not passive. We need you to be assertive. We need you to put your foot down. We need you to mean business. Okay, and that is what I love about the energy that we are going to be dealing with this week for the next week and a half, actually. It's going to be a lot of powerful changes happening, even within ourselves, okay? So, once again, my beautiful Cancer Cougars, okay, it's saying to be assertive, be wise, make decisive decisions, be stern, 
in your decisions, Cancer. Do not feel like you have to constantly compromise with someone to get ahead. What you say is what you mean and mean what you say. It is time to put your foot down because apparently someone think that you're a joke. Someone think that you're playing. Even at your job, I hear a lot of this, okay? And apparently, okay, and you're like, well, yeah, they can keep on laughing, but I got the last laugh, you know? My love. If you've always been the sweet and kind, generous, loving, emotional, sensitive one, guess what? Whoever was fucking with you for the past few months are definitely in for a treat in the month of September and October. So, I'm not going to get into all that. When I upload you guys' video for the month of September and October on my YouTube channel, you guys will see exactly what I mean. So, Cancer, wonderful. And I realized that I put those other two cards back in here. I didn't mean to do that. So, all right. So, let's move on to Leo. <laughs> Leo! Make some noise if you're a Leo, all right? And shout out to all my Leos if you guys are just now tuning in or if you're watching the replay. Shout out to you. I love you guys so much. I love you for your creativity. I love you for your bold energy. You guys always tend to know exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. And I admire you for your courage. So, Leo, let's go. This is for Leo, someone rising on Venus and Leo. This is for the Leo man and the Leo woman. I just heard shit got crazy. That's what I just heard. Yep, I just heard that. Shit got crazy. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but something got crazy. And now you're like, nope, it's all good. I got it back under control. I got it back under control. Okay? What did I tell you? Stability. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I felt this. Some shit then got crazy, but you got it back under control. Amen to that. What does it say? It says stability, faith, and determination. You are without a shadow of doubt. Are done. Sorry, guys. That's my dryer. So you are without a shadow of doubt. Still dealing with the crazy. Shit got crazy. <laughs> but I just, like I said, I just heard shit got crazy. But I got control of it now. Ooh, how do you got control of it? Tell us, Leo, because I think it's some shit that got crazy in my life. I need to know how you got your shit together. So hold on. Okay. It said, you are being guided to take action and think big. Of course, because you're a Leo. You don't never think small. Your faith ain't never small. Your confidence is never even small. Okay. It said, take back your power. Absolutely. Okay. You're done with the manipulation. Okay. Absolutely. Leap over any obstacles and build your desires on a solid foundation. So once again, you are done with the crazy. Like I said, shit got real. Shit got crazy. <laughs> Between last year and now, a lot of things kind of was up. Then it went down. Then it was like, up. Oh, it might be going back up. But hold up. I got to stop right here for a second. Oh, but for the next, the last few months of the year, <laughs> just look at God. That's all I can say to you, Leo. Just sit back and just watch how things begin to unfold for you, my love. Because like I said, shit got crazy. It got real for a second. And you had to pump your brakes like, hmm, okay, I see where this is heading. Yeah, it's time to refocus on your stability, on your faith, and your determination, okay? You are being guided to take action and to think big. Take back your power, leap over any obstacles, and build your desires on a solid foundation. Forge your head without looking back. Absolutely, okay? Create emotional fulfillment. Because, my love, when you are fulfilled emotionally, Nobody can't take that away from you. It's like, nope, I'm not even looking for happiness. I'm not looking for validation. I'm not focused on just my creativity. I'm going to focus on my personality. Ooh, Leo. Please check out your September and October focus. I uploaded it to YouTube. Leo, check it out. This is so much confirmation, guys. Please check it out because everything that I'm saying tonight is so familiar with everything that I've said in your video. Please check it out, okay? It says, being true to yourself. Oh, my God, be authentic. Be your authentic self. These are some of the same things that I was saying in your video. So it was so interesting how the universe gave this back to me. Wow. Being true to yourself and having faith in the unknown. Determination. Don't give up. Because, yeah, shit got crazy. Things got real for a second. But guess what? 
you were able to bounce back and you are still able to bounce back. So even if you felt or maybe if you, even if you still feel like it right now, well, I don't know what to do. I feel like my life is all over the place. Guess what? It is time for the bounce back. Okay, like I said, a lot of us are going to be going through transformational periods, my love, but it's going to affect each and every last one of us differently. When it comes to you, Leo, this is all about your personal feelings, your emotions, your inner self, okay, that self-love, that self-care. This is all about you. So yes, go ahead, be you and think big, think beyond, okay? Don't let nobody tell you, oh, that dream is too big, oh, that's ridiculous, no, you're ridiculous or even think that it's ridiculous. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Shout out to you, Virgos. I love you so much. I love you for your organizational skills. I love you for your secretly crazy ways. I love how dynamic you are and how systematic you are. Virgo, thank you for being you. All right, Virgo. This is for Virgo. Someone rising on Venus and Virgo. All right, shit. Just come on out, would you? All right, so... <laughs> the blue jay bird beautiful energy here i love that very positive very giving very supportive energy here so it says be assertive be daring and connect with the universal wisdom my love that is who you are right you are being guided to be aware of synchronicities in your life very much like cancer huh you are entering a time of intellectual and spiritual growth new truths are forming each day be fearless oh virgo i tell you this every year oh okay stop worrying so much stop worrying so much how you gonna get that blessing why are you constantly worrying that's just like smacking god in the face saying i don't believe you're gonna give it to me you can't be trying to pray and worry who does that you know who does that? A person that lack faith. That is who does that. But Virgo, I know you. And when you're spiritually grounded, can nobody take you up out of your zone? So Virgo, let's get it together this for the last few months of the year, shall we? Can we get it together for all earth signs? Can we like, yeah, we got this. Can we do that for a second? Can we just embrace all that we are made of? Can we do that? Sure we can. Be fearless and trust your gut. Trust your spirit. Again, this is all about the unknowing believing and receiving downloading messages from the universe from your ancestors downloading those messages okay trust your gut be up be your authentic self take inspired action and what you desire will come to fruition oh you cancer leo got a lot i don't know if you guys are virgos and maybe have cancer or leo in your birth chart or maybe they have virgo in their birth chart and maybe you guys are either dating a leo and maybe you're dating a cancer or maybe it's the opposite around i don't know but all of you guys energy is very similar that's scary very beautiful though very positive straight to the point i love it i ain't really got nothing to say about that virgo because you you know the work the internal work that you need to do so i don't even really need to elaborate on that too much um Who's next? Oh, crap. I forgot who's next. Leo Virgo. Leo. Okay. Libra. Ooh, Libra. My little lovebirds. That's who's next. Libra. Libra. I always call you guys my little lovebirds because you guys love love. And I love you for loving love. I think it's so amazing how a person can suffer through so much pain and still have a heart as big as, you know, as big as like the earth, you know, still have a heart of gold and still just always want to give and be caring and loving and supportive. I love that about you, Libra. So keep on being you. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Zebra. Oh, look what came out. Balance. Libra, can I just... <laughs> Can I just say that, listen, this is your energy, right? All about balance. Of course, that's you. That is who you are. You are the skills, my love. You are the one that can help everybody balance everything out. Even when you have moments when you're feeling really indecisive, right? And when you're feeling a bit uneasy, you still know how to find your way. You still know how to find that balance. Teach me how you do that thing. Okay, balance, individuality, and beauty, just like you, Libra. You are being guided to no longer run with the herd and find a new vintage point. That means, hello, I'm going to follow the beat of my own drums. I'm going to march to the beat of my own drums. I'm going to do what satisfies my soul, and I'm going to do what makes me happy. I don't care about you or what you got to say or who judging me. I'm going to do what makes me feel good. Oof, you better speak your truth, Libra. What the or air signs are doing that this season, though. All of you guys are speaking your truth. That's good. That's really, really good. Really, really good. 
okay be your authentic self oh three times is a charm that came out three times this night okay wow three times <laughs> okay could be the universe telling me that who knows right Okay, acknowledge your golden soul. Wow, what did I say? Somebody who has something as big as the earth, have such a heart that's like gold. Didn't I just say that? It is... Oh, universe, you better stop playing with me. Listen, it says, boldly move towards your heart's desire with speed, grace, and integrity, with honesty. Be honest. Be truthful about what you desire. Be honest about what is really on your heart, okay? Acknowledge your golden soul. Show the world your magnificence. Boldly move towards your heart's desire with speed, with grace, and with integrity. Mm. Drop mic. That's all I got to say. Libra, you know what you got to do. That was your confirmation, my love. I'm going to do what makes me happy. Okay, I'm tired of always trying to live in your shadow and do everything that you want me to do. Try, always kind of trying to make you happy and make you smile. Always trying to put a smile on your face. Always trying to please you. Always trying to, you know, please everybody else. I need to do what makes me happy. And if me dating this person makes me happy, then so be it. If me going out on the weekends with my girls because I don't get to see them that much makes me happy, then so be it. If that means me wearing this outfit and making me feel good and confident, that's what the hell I'm going to do. High five. Ooh, I felt that. I felt that. And I ain't got mad Libra energy in my birth chart, but I felt that. Okay? Listen. Who's next? Scorpio? Oh, God. Uh, uh, where is my ever-knowing cocky-ass Scorpios? Where you guys at? I love you guys so much, but you guys are cocky as fuck for no reason. Uh, I don't know why you guys are so cocky. I don't know why. I don't know why. Listen, I'm not here to judge. I'm married to one. Okay? I'm not here to judge. I'm not here to judge. All right, Scorpios, let's go. This is for Scorpio, Sun, <laughs> right? So, no, Venus and Scorpio. This is for the Scorpio man and the Scorpio woman. This is for my beautiful Scorpio. It's my love. Okay. Hmm. You are being guided, Scorpio, to have faith in yourself. Of course you are. Because you come on so strong, and a lot of times you really aren't really feeling that strong. You'll come on really confident. Most times you're feeling really unsure of yourself. So, of course, you are being guided to have faith in yourself. The knowledge you possess in your vision, in your intellect, this is the perfect week for you to utilize your intuition. You know how to look into people, Scorpio, without really looking, if you know what I mean. Like, you can literally just sit on the couch and like, oh, that bitch fake. Like, you know how to do that from a mile away. But this week, for some reason, it's at an all-time high. So, don't be surprised if you find yourself picking up the mood swings or energies of other people. Or if you're around your spouse and you're feeling all sexy and horny for whatever weird-ass reason. You're like, why am I so horny? <laughs> it may not even be you. It could be your spouse. So be very careful because that is also very dangerous. When you're picking up everybody's energy, <laughs> you might pick up somebody's energy who don't even really fuck with you like that. And this week is encouraging you to just bite, bite your tongue. Bite your tongue, Scorpio. You ain't always got to be right. And you don't always have to, you know, let it all be out there. Listen, even if you are right, it's cool. They got their day coming. Every dog has their day. So bite your tongue, my love. Okay? Be pure like the unicorn. <laughs> Scorpio, you are being guided to have faith in yourself, the knowledge you possess, and the magic of the universe. You are where you are supposed to be. So bite your tongue. Ain't nobody coming for you. It's all good. Okay? Feel your way through each segment of your life. You will clearly see your next move. Like I said, you don't got to do all this. Because you're going to be peeking, I'm telling you guys, you're going to be picking up mood swings and energies and attitudes and you're going to be picking up things 
and seeing things for the very first time more clearly now more so than ever. Wow, I'm really in love with this person. Wow, they really drive me crazy. Oh, I really feel like I'm about to be the supervisor. I really feel like, you know, I need to go look for another job. I really feel like, you know, I need to just kind of take a break for a second. I really feel like I'm being too hard on myself. Like, you're going to be picking up all kind of different energy. And like I said, guys, this is very general. So for each and every last one of you, Scorpio, it's going to play out differently. But that that third eye ain't gonna lie to you my love that intuition that gut feeling that all knowing ain't gonna lie to you my love something you feel or something you kind of got a glimpse of or that you think is about to happen or that could happen if you don't fix something or if you uh, don't reveal something at the timely manner that you should it could blow up in your face so it's probably best to just be honest about it okay you will clearly see your next move and take action. Big results are the ripple effect of inspired action, my love. Wait for divine timing. That is your message, Scorpio. Wait for divine timing. Because like I said, you're going to be feeling it. You're going to see it clear as day. Mark my words. You'll come back and message me. Okay. Sagittarius. Oh, you guys are one of my favorite zodiac signs. Shout out to you, Sag, if you are watching. Shout out to all my replayers. Shout out to those of you who are just tuning in. All right, let's see here. All right, here we go. All right, Sag, you ready? I'm excited for you. Oh, come on now. Now, cards, when we. As soon as I say Sag, here we go with the crazy bullshit. Cards, I don't know the play. She getting all crazy. Listen, give me one second. Because y'all know. I don't like all of this bending and stuff. You know, my back be hurting. Your, your cars just be doing too much sometimes. All right. Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Sagittarius. Come on, spirits and guys, or guys and goddess. Come on, our archangels and my guardian angels. This is for the Sagittarius man and the Sagittarius woman. Thank you so much for your beautiful energy. Thank you for just being you. Thank you for being you, Sag. Thank you so much. You know? You've been through a lot recently. And all I got to say is keeping your head up. Ooh, child, things are going to get easier. Ooh, child. Listen, I told everybody at the beginning of the year that earth signs and fire signs are going to have a wonderful year. And that is not a lie. Okay? Just think about it. Did I have a bad year? Nah. I might have had a month or two months that was like a bit wacky, but you didn't have a bad year. <laughs> for the last three months of this year, my love, you're in for a treat. Okay? You're in for a treat, my beautiful Sagittarius. Okay, it says confidence, motion, and adventure. Mm. You are being guided to be grateful of the many relationships within your life, including the one with yourself. You possess the power to attract positive change in your life. Expand and stretch yourself in new ways, which I know that you will be doing now that your ruling planet Jupiter is no longer retrograding in Capricorn. We're going to get back to Jupiter being in Capricorn, but it won't be retrograding anymore. So, just like I told a few other zodiac signs just now, is that it's all about expansion. That expansion is returning, the money is returning, being serious about your stability is returning, being serious about your finances or your career. All those things are changing. And it's all working out for your good. It's all working out in your favor, my love. So, that is a beautiful energy here that you are having right now. It says, love yourself, though, unconditionally, and the world will do the same. The more that people see you taking care of yourself and catering to yourself and catering to your own personal needs and really, do, you know, um, doing the things that you need to do to kind of evolve and change and grow and make your money, you'll be surprised how many people are going to be supportive of you. There's going to be some money that was... Um, some money that is unexpected that is going to come to you, 
okay it may come through you may uh, receive a letter that you are approved or you may see receive um if it's not you it could be your spouse but there's going to be something that comes to you to let you know okay yes we found this we had that we saw your name um this can be something that was owed to you from a really long time or something that you have been desperately Bag of the universe to give you. Um, it has definitely been working out in your favor. And it's not saying that you're going to get it tomorrow morning, but it's definitely on the way. I feel it and I know it and I feel it and I know it and I'm claiming it. So I promise you, my love, keep the faith, continue to be positive, continue to spread love and light, and just watch how the universe begins to work, um, work everything out in your favor, okay? Oh, Capricorn. Capricorn, my Capricornians, my Capricornians, my super, I'm so smart, I know everything, don't tell me nothing because I'm me and I got it like that, you can't tell me about, you. Capricorn, listen baby, or well, like I said, and I said it many times throughout this video so far, okay, there were so many planets that went retrograde in your sign over the summer, Pluto, Jupiter, what the fuck, okay, Pluto, what the hell? Okay? All these planets were like doing their thing. And then you had a full moon back in the summertime. Like it was crazy. Right? I mean, you didn't really have a bad summer. I think you had some shit you had to deal with. But I don't think you had a bad summer. Okay, Capricorn? But listen, even if you felt like the month of August was horrible... Or maybe you felt like it wasn't your best. Or maybe you feel like you didn't give your best. Or maybe you don't feel like you were appreciated or accepted, my love. Capricorns, you tend to struggle with that a lot. My love, you are accepted. You are loved. And people do admire you. And people are inspired by you because you are who you are. Everybody want to know how Capricorn fall down and get back up so easily. Everybody want to know the trick. Everybody. Capricorn, <laughs> don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Listen, it's all good. We all fall down. We all got to find our way back to the top. It's all good. But you've never been the zodiac sign that fall down and can't seem to get back up. You always know how to get back up again. So why are you so afraid, my love? Listen, all those planets that were going retrograde, right? They're no longer retrograding in your sign. So that means, you know, communication is going to get better. Even with Mercury going retrograde in October, I don't feel like you're going to have much of... I mean, you might have some technical issues, but I don't think you're going to have, like, any major real-life crazy things happening, right? I think you'll just have to deal with some technical bullshit, like the computer messing up, you know, your keyboard won't work, or the internet cuts off, something stupid like that something minor it won't be anything you can't handle but my love for the month of september though you are in for a treat okay i'm talking about publicity at its best i'm talking about people gravitating to you and loving you like beyond what you even imagined so get ready, because if you have been the one putting yourself out there, Capricorn, get ready for the attention. You want to be appreciated, right? You want to be accepted? Oh, here you go. <laughs> yeah, the universe is saying, okay, move out the way. You've been asking. You keep begging and crying and acting like nobody cares. Okay, here you go. Let's sprinkle a little bit of love on you. All right, Capricorn. Guys, so if this video cuts off, I will be back with the remaining few signs that we have left. Capricorn, it's all about freedom and elegance and strength for you. You are being guided to break free from the chaos and confusion of life. Take action and expand into your new journey. Okay, your new journey. There are new and exciting opportunities waiting for you. Capricorns, you are blessed. Okay, stop worrying so much. Guys, I'm going to be back with the next video, with the next few signs. Thank you for watching. Tune in. Mm -mm. Oh, guys, did I tell you about my candles yet? I didn't tell you about my candles yet, right? So, I've been told that all the money that I make from my holiday candles, I am going to donate a portion of that money to families in need when it comes to you know no matter where they are no matter who they are 
I am donating either to a charity or family. Um, me and uh, my partner haven't really discussed exactly what charity or exactly how we're going to go about it just yet. But I have a pretty good idea and it was on my heart to do that. So I wanted to create some holiday candles to kind of bring in the love and to bring in the spirit. So I wanted to um, share this with you before I forget is that for every candle, holiday candle that you guys purchase, I am going to donate a portion of this to families in need this holiday season okay and as the weeks go on I'm not this video is not about candles of course but as the weeks go on I'm going to um, show share with you guys and show you more and more of what we are doing to help the families out there who um, are still going through things who probably won't even get to have a Christmas this year so that's really on my heart really heavily and I want to um, share my love with the community and that is our way of giving back. So I'll get into this on another video where I can elaborate a bit more. Um, for those of you who know and love me, you guys know, you know, I'm, I'm very usually very responsive. So I don't mind answering any questions or any concerns that you guys may have. Um, so let's get into this, guys. Okay, everybody, listen, for those of you that were tuning in to our live Tuesday reading, okay, guys? So, listen, I don't know if you guys ever went live on Instagram before, but I feel like they be hating sometimes because, like, they try to, like, um, they cut your video to, like, I think, like, an hour. Like, this is why I don't fuck with Instagram, okay? <laughs> Instagram, I'm lying. I love you. Chill. Don't block me. No, seriously, though, I usually go live on Facebook. You know, that's where they really know and love me. And they're like, oh, G1, G1. Like, they go crazy. So I love going live on um, Facebook. But I felt like some of my fans on Instagram was getting a little upset. Like, hello, bitch, we need love, too. So more power to you guys, okay? Listen, I'm going to, I left off at Capricorn. I have done every zodiac sign except the two um special ones here which are aquarius and pisces so i'm going to start off with aquarius i believe right yeah aquarius i think it's aquarius i have to do next anyway so let's get into this <laughs> yeah so let's do this anyway aquarius okay oh my god i love aquarius people so much it's not even funny like i love you guys so much i had to take a break from you guys like isn't that crazy um and i actually do have aquarius in my birth chart too so like you know weird recognizes weird <laughs> okay so listen i love aquarius people so much because you guys are i love the fact that you guys are a lot like me when it comes to like don't be all up in my business you know let me tell you my business okay like we don't like all of that like give me a chance to tell you my business if i wanted you to know my business i would have told you already duh right but some people don't get it they think aquarius people are aloof which is true aquarius people are aloof you know but that don't mean that aquarius people don't have a heart for crying out loud i remember i had a girlfriend um you know like a friend okay i'm not gay okay listen i mean like a girlfriend of mine a homegirl right so um <laughs> she'll probably kill me for bringing this up but I remember she's an Aquarius. So I remember like we were outside walking around. And don't mind me. I love to talk throughout like when I'm shuffling. So don't, don't pay me no mind. So we were like out walking around, talking, chilling, you know. And some guy was like, hello, how you doing? You know. And she was like, what? And I was like, bitch, calm down. Damn, what he said was hot. You know, like, I mean, he didn't say I'm going to kill you tonight. He's just like, hi, you know, how you doing? Oh, good memories. I love him. But he was just like, hey, how you doing, sweetheart? Or something. He said something real clever and beautiful. You know how Aquarius women get. Like, we get, a, you know, we, we blush a lot. You know, we're like, okay, hi. You know. But, oh, she was like, what? What do you want? Like, why? <laughs> why is he even speaking to me? Listen. I said, oh, my God. He was so trying to give you, like, the, you know, the go move. Like, what's up? you know <laughs> she was not feeling it at all like listen whatever i ain't with the bull crap you know <laughs> i miss old times oh my god it's so funny when i when i think about 
No. And I have some really trying, sad times with Aquarius people, but you know, it is what it is, right? You live and you learn. <laughs> So let's get started. Let's get started. So guys, this message is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, and Aquarius. Oh, I'm a Capricorn, and I have um, I have Aquarius in one of my most prominent, uh, you know, uh, ways. Like um, that's not the word I was going for, but that's what I went with. Um, so. <laughs> Um, Aquarian energy shows up in my birth chart a lot, unfortunately. So I get passed off as weird, strange, you know, aloof, cocky. I get all the names. <laughs> cocky, weird, strange, loud, you know, uh, what's the other word people call me sometimes? I think it's hilarious. Um, oh, oh yeah, they call me bougie, which is bullshit. I know I'm not bougie, okay? I'm not bougie. I just I, be, I just believe in myself a lot. Like, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying. But I'm not bougie, though. You feel me? Oh, but I love Aquarian energy so much. I have had... You know, the funny story is, before I get into this, before I go, guys, I it's funny, though, because I was supposed to have been born... And I share this every time I meet... Um, every time I meet Aquarius people, I share this story. Like, um, I was supposed to have been born um, February 4th. But, you know, I guess I was like, fuck this. Like, I'm ready for the world to see me. You know what I mean? And I came out. I was like, yo, I'm not dealing with this no more. Like, I need to come out, like, right now. You know? So, I ended up coming out in December instead. Yeah. I ended up coming out, like, way ahead of my time. And my mom was like, really, dude? Like, you couldn't just wait another month or two? You know? Like, and I wasn't having it. I just, I had to come out. So, it is what it is. I'm here crazy loud funky all that like and i'm not ashamed to, <laughs> i'm not ashamed to tell you okay thank you honey bun i know you like would she read the cards already hold on all right oh of course of course this will come out for you frog okay impulse impulse adaptivity voice you guys are being guided to jump over any obstacles and embrace the change in your life. Truth has an expiration date. Damn, I didn't even know that. Okay, God, now you really shall not. Because first of all, you didn't even tell me that that was such a thing. All right. So anyway, so it says truth has an expiration date. And the time is now to speak your new truths. Remember what I said earlier about how all earths, I mean, all air signs are doing that? Like speaking their truth this season? My love, look at this. You guys are having like this no nonsense approach to things. You're like, listen, look, I'm ratchet, I'm real, I'm sexy, I'm like this. It is what it is. Like, you either love me or you don't. You know, like, I'm hardworking, but I don't like people in my face. And I'm going to do the job that you asked me for, but just don't be all up on me asking me a thousand questions. I ain't feeling all of that. You know, and that's probably why the universe hasn't prompted me to share <laughs> the funny things that people call me or that they say to me um yeah it is what it is like that's me dude like you either accept it or you don't you know what i mean like even in my love life like my husband would be like for real like for real you really want to just say that and walk away yeah like what the fuck like that's me dude like I, listen it don't get no more real than that like so even when it comes to love i have this very abrupt aloof energy about me and it's crazy because i am a capricorn and capricorns can also be very aloof so even when it comes to business even when it comes to my love life i have this and i'm a taurus moon so i'm like look when i'm mad i'm mad i'm like up oh, i don't care do your thing like don't even don't look at me don't talk to me don't speak don't even uh, like don't even utter a word like i shut down completely like bye like you're a non-factor to me like i get really uh <laughs> so i so can resonate um with aquarius energy a lot and that's probably why i either get along with them or i don't because we're so much alike in so many ways and we have we have so many values that we share that is scary you know but yeah i don't even know the truth had an expiration date isn't that crazy it says truth has an expiration date and the time is now to speak your new truths that means whatever you are feeling, whatever you are adapting to, whatever you have grown to love, it is time to step into the new you, to a new foundation, a new perspective, a new way of being, a new way of thinking. Oh, my God. Guys, listen. 
wait i'm sorry to just stop like that i'm sorry listen in your september and october video i could have sworn i said something like that i could have sworn i said like i wish i could bring this up i can do a share thing can i i don't even know if i have time for that but i could have sworn i said something very similar about that like um stepping into the new you having a new perspective on life and on things and people around you it says here to show the world your voice Oh, so shout out to all my Aquarius people that are artistic and creative, that sing, that dance, that have a lot of creative energies about themselves. Shout out to you guys, right? And then it says here, so show the world your voice. Speak your truth. Don't be afraid of who you are. This is not the time to run away from all that, right? And then it says, um, acknowledge your desires and leap with faith towards what matters to you. Wow, so many of us are getting these... Uh, confirmations about just being authentic and i think it's because when pluto is around pluto is like be you be real seek the truth you know pluto is uh scorpio's ruling planet okay so any if you know anything about scorpios they like to dive deep you know they like to seek the truth and everything they like to just kind of dig through the mud and search. They're like a little puppy. They like to search and search and search through the truth. They want to know what the truth is, some of that, right? And then they get mad when they don't find the truth, so they dig a little more and keep fucking with you and keep fucking with you. Yeah, like, uh, right? So it all makes sense why now you are so eager because now Mercury is actually going to go into Scorpio this month as well. So it makes a lot of sense of like how we are communicating just like the Scorpionic energy. We're like, we want to know. We're going to speak our truth. We're going to keep searching and searching to find out who we are, why we are the way that we are. And we're not going to stop until we get the answer that we seek. So it's super important for you Aquarius to take off the mask and be yourself. This is the one time in your life where you get to really actually be yourself without judgment. Seriously, like you can be silly, funny, crazy, wild, climb the fucking mountain, jump through the rivers, you know, slingshot, whatever craziness that you like to do. <laughs> Kumbaya, baby. Ain't no beef. Everybody's happy with you. Nobody's beefing. Do your thing. Nobody's going to judge you. This is a no judge zone. So this is the perfect time in your life at this moment, like not now, but like right now to do all the things that really bliss your soul, that makes you happy. And guess what? You're not going to be able to do that if you're so much worried about everything. I mean, I don't know really any Aquarius that always been too worried about what people think, but I think that you guys periodically go through phases where you are concerned about what people may feel or people may think just because you just naturally sensitive. So it's okay. Right. But I feel like you just have this I don't give a fuck mentality this season. And guys, I want I would like if you guys can go onto my YouTube channel, by the way, and check out your September and October focus if you haven't already. Because a lot of this information I'm giving for some odd reason, the universe really brought it back to me. Just like it did with Leo and Cancer. It was so familiar to me. So please go check this out. Um, guys, and by the way, for those of you who are new to my YouTube channel as well. I do usually tag along periodically throughout the month or the weeks and try to do a video on YouTube or upload um, videos about love. And um, sometimes I like to extend my love readings. So, you know, the best thing to do is probably just subscribe or to probably... Um, check me out here i'm gonna try my best to be consistent my guys with our tuesday live readings i'm gonna really try my best to work that in guys my life has been all over the place lately so i'm sorry for those of you that be like hello g1 you know you ain't gonna live like you said you was gonna go live my bad don't kill me don't beat me up don't judge me i got shit going on too okay I got a whole household over here that be driving me crazy, okay? I got like three other businesses I'm trying to run. Like, I got a whole bunch of damn candles I got to make. And now the universe is telling me to donate half of my money to the universe and to the communities out there. So, I got to make keep my commitments, guys. Let's, uh, listen, it's a job being me, okay? So, please bear with me, guys. If you guys don't see me doing terror readings that often, it's not because I don't love you guys or I'm not trying to give back. It has nothing to do with that, okay? I love you, and I don't want you guys to give up, and I'm sorry that I haven't been as um, attentive to you all when it comes to our readings. But I'm going to come back with our Pisces reading, guys, okay? My son is hungry. He keep bugging me. So, I will be back, okay? I love you. 
If you know a Pisces, tag them in this video or the first video. I could care less. Just tag them on my page, whatever, you know. Um, or you guys, in the meantime, just check out my website as well, g1insights.org. Um, it's so much fun being with you guys, okay? So I'm going to be back, okay? I'm going to go see what's going on with him and why he's bugging me so much. And um, I'll be back, okay? Be patient, guys. I love you. Bye. Hi guys, so I am back with the last but not least, okay? So the first two videos that I went live about was for basically all the other zodiac signs like Capricorn, Aquarius, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, and Sag, right? The only sign I didn't get to was Pisces and that's because I had so much other things going on constantly distracting me so I had to like stop go and stop and go um but i'm grateful i'm back and i'm going to pretty much pick up where i left off at so before i left i was talking about aquarius people um i was also sharing my candle line with you guys passion versus pleasure if you guys have not checked out my passion versus pleasure candle line please do at g1insights.org okay um we have an earth candle we have air we have fire i don't have a candle um um i mean a water one with me at the time but i'll show you guys that later or you can just simply go on my website and see it for yourself it's up to you right but um my candle line has been doing really really well and i'm so proud of passion versus pleasure it's been doing really really amazing okay but i have literally this um started doing much bigger candles now um this one i believe is about 12 ounces it smells really really good and then we also have our special holiday candles guys so our holiday candles um have not yet been on our website it's something i'm just now doing for every holiday candle that is purchased i am donating um, a portion of my earnings to a particular community or to a family in need and I'm going to talk about this more and more as the weeks go on so let's get into part three of our Tuesday live tarot readings all right so um, shout out to Pisces though you know shout out to my beautiful Pisces um, this message tonight is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Pisces. This is for the Pisces man and the Pisces woman. If you guys have any questions or concerns, you can either drop your comments or your questions below, or you can DM me privately, um, and we can take it from there. Okay? Um, you guys can cash at me, um, $5.55, hashtag 555, or you guys can PayPal the $5.55, or just simply go on my website. If you guys book a personal tarot reading um, through my website, you may notice that the price is a little different. That's because this is a special, guys. So this is not something I do all the time. This is something I literally just started doing again, um, where I go live every Tuesday or whatever weekday, you know, <laughs> my spirit guides me to do. So let's go ahead and get into this, all right? This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising, or Venus and Pisces. This is for the Pisces man and the Pisces woman. Call my spirits and gods, or gods and goddess. And all of our archangels and our guardian angels. Thank you for showing me Pisces. Pisces, this is for the week of September 10th until September 15th, okay? Here we go. Uh, so these are one of those cards that I was telling you guys about in the previous video about how I picked up um, some cards that um that i had already dealt that i didn't mean to like pick up and put back in my deck so we're gonna disregard this okay let's shuffle again just because i believe that every zodiac sign should have their own personal message okay bear unconditional love okay so it says unconditional love playful and being protective okay you are being guided to rest and enjoy yourself and others create balance in your life and follow your truths like i said in our previous videos guys tonight is that 
each and every last one of us are going through a period of transformation but we are all going through the transformation in a different way of course so in other words just because you're a pisces and i'm a pisces doesn't mean that we're going to go through the same exact transformation everyone has history they all we all been through so many different things so of course this energy this season is going to affect everyone a little differently okay there were some planets that went retrograde in Capricorn like throughout the summer and now those planets are actually turning direct this month like Saturn and Jupiter these are planets that are um, teaching us how to be serious about our finances um, to take life a bit more seriously to take our relationships a bit more seriously the planet Jupiter is all about expansion and um, pretty much is being out there you know being like the face of everything so it make a lot of sense as to why if you wasn't getting any recognition over the summer or if you want to get in any type of love or appreciation over the summer then now will most likely be the time where it's like a spirit of renewal is here and it's here to take us through the last few months of the year where we are now ready to emerge or to adapt to like this whole new person okay so with the bear energy being here it makes sense why your challenge is to focus on unconditional love you know a lot of times we love people in a conditional way oh well you upset me yesterday you know you disrespected me so i don't want to be with you anymore you know and we're just so ready to just give up and walk away but that is not unconditional love unconditional love is saying you know what i love you so much that i love you okay like yeah like i love you so much i love you so much that even though you hurt me yesterday i'm still gonna love you does that mean that i'm gonna tolerate your shit absolutely not that just means i'm gonna love you anyway i'm going to love you even when you are doing me wrong even when you seem impossible to love i am going to love you anyway that is unconditional love i am going to forgive you because i believe that you deserve forgiveness that is unconditional love it's not about what you know i think you should get or the punishment that i feel like you should get it's all about what you deserve we all mess up we all make mistakes so if i'm so quick to run away and just give up then there was never no love i mean well they were but it wasn't unconditional love and i hear so many people say oh i love you in an unconditional way oh my god you're my heartbeat you know you make my soul sing yeah and then when the going gets going and when the going gets tough guess what we're so ready to just walk away and give up and throw throw in the towel that is not unconditional love that is conditional love okay and so with this energy being here it's telling you you know you've always had like this energy about you pisces where it's just always been an unconditional way about you you've always been an unconditional lover like even when you give back to the community when you take off your jacket and give it to a homeless person when you feed the needy what i love about you pisces is that you don't do it in a way to be seen you don't do it in a flamboyant way you know now i can remember though i have i have known um a few Pisces that will do something and then talk about it, you know, but I don't think that that's all Pisces. I just think that that's the, the Pisces people that are just um, not really evolved yet, so to speak, okay? And because the Pisces person that has evolved understand that talking about it doesn't bring your blessings on any faster. You know, that is no real need to brag about what you do for a person. If you're going to do something, do it from the kindness of your heart. Again, we're talking about that unconditional love. And I think that you're at this place right now, Pisces, where you want to deliver unconditional love. You want to be a better lover, a better supporter, a better friend. You know, if you feel like at times recently, um, maybe someone wasn't really hearing you. Maybe you feel like you've been pouring out your heart and saying how you feel. Maybe the message wasn't getting through for whatever reason. It doesn't mean that it's time to walk away and to give up. It just means that maybe you just need to show them in a very unconventional way, okay? So it says here also, you will intuitively know 
when and how to take inspired action. You have immense inner wisdom and physical strength. Pisces, that is definitely your energy. You are one of the most intellectual and most intuitive zodiac sign in our zodiac elements. Like, you are one of the most intuitives. I think that, um, I mean, there's a few other signs that are just as intuitive. But you, Pisces, you have a very, very <laughs> specific way on how you do things. Like, you know how to feel when someone needs help or when they're in pain. You have learned or mastered the art of sympathizing or even empathizing with the person. You know, wow, I'm really sorry that you're going through that. So I think that... I think that spirit is allowing you a chance to be who you are, but not allowing other people to take advantage of you, you know? So continue to be continue to be a sweetheart. Continue to reach out to loved ones. Continue to want to help the community and to be a good friend and to be a good lover. But you have to put your foot down when it comes to people trying to take advantage of you and um, kind of overstep their boundaries a little bit. You're gonna have to set some boundaries in that area, you know. So yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna continue to be um, deliver that unconditional love, but I can no longer allow you to try to manipulate me. I cannot allow you to disregard my feelings as if it don't matter, um, because I do matter, and my feelings matter as well, you know. Um, it also says here to be playful. So I would think that this is more about being, you being more flirtatious, not worrying so much about your problems or other people's problems. This is saying to go out, have fun, be playful, you know. Um, show that fun, enthusiastic, flirtatious side to yourself and not worry so much, you know, about your problems or having money. like. Don't get me wrong, like I said, I know some really amazing Pisces people, and you guys crack me up. You crack me up because I don't want to say you guys are cheap, but you guys have this thing where, like, um, and it's a good trait, by the way, it really is, but you guys have this thing where, um, let's just get a number, right? Like, say if you got, like, 30 grand in your bank account. In your mind, I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I laugh at that all the time because Pisces people, you know, is to some of us, it may seem like you're coming off like you're a cheap ass, right? Um, <laughs> but that is the same quality um, about yourself that is going to continue to bring um, more to you, you know? But you also have to not worry about your finances so much. Stop worrying, okay? While you're crying about how you only got 20 grand or how you only got 10 grand in your account, guess what, my love? There's some people in the world who only have $10. There's some people that only have $100. And you're crying because you only have 10000 you know? So once again, you're being guided to really just enjoy yourself. Enjoy the money. Go out, travel, spend, you know? Spend your money on people that you love. Go out, go dancing. Do something that you really enjoy. Invest in something that really makes you happy. You know, money is great while we're living. We can do many, 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 many things with it. And I am a firm, I mean, a firm believer that money can in some way bring happiness to you. But I also believe that it starts within. And once you get the money, you begin to appreciate it. So it makes you even more happy, right? But if you're just saving up and putting all the money in the bank, you're like, nope, 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 nope. Guess what? Anything was to happen to you, guess what? You know where that money is going to go? If you don't leave it to anyone in particular that you love or that you care about, it's going to go right into the state. And nobody's not going to be able to enjoy or at least respect your value or, you know, whatever it is that you put on this earth. Okay, so don't worry about your finances so much, Pisces. Don't worry about if you and your spouse will make it through. You guys have been through worse. You've been through worse. You're going to always have some type of obstacle that come along the way. But it doesn't mean to just give up and run away every time that you have financial a financial crisis. Okay, it is what it is. 
you have a financial crisis, you work harder, you work smarter, that money will come back to you. Don't worry about your finances. I feel that very strongly for a lot of you. Don't worry so much about your financial issues with your spouse. Don't worry so much about if you look that good in the mirror. Don't worry about that. All the things that you're worrying about, I promise you, the person that loves you the most is not even thinking about neither one of those things. They're not worrying about how much money you have. They're not worrying about how good you look in the morning. They're not worrying about if you lost five pounds or not. They're not worrying about that. They love you exactly for who you are as a person. They are not focused on that. I tell you this. I tell everybody this sometimes, right? Like, You'd be surprised the things that would turn our spouse on. I highly doubt that, like, because I was big as hell when me and my husband met, right? Like, I was like, um, and no offense to, you know, my, my you know, <laughs> heavyweight champions out there, right? But I was pretty uh, huge when me and my, my husband met. And so it's like, when I see a big bitch walking by, I'm like, you know, oh, you know, that's what you like, huh? You know, I mess with him a lot like that because I, in back of my mind, I'm like, oh, well, I was a fat chick. You know, that's what he wanted. <laughs> but guess what? I have to remind myself he didn't love me because I was huge or because, you know, I was built a certain way. It was my heart. And I have to reach out to you guys and tell you guys the same thing. It's not about your physicality. It's not about your finances. It's because of your heart. This person is in love with you because of your heart. This person cares about you because of your heart and how generous you are and how wonderful of a person you are. It has nothing to do with your finances. And trust me, God for sake, if you're like um, coupled up with a more solid sign, like a Taurus or if you're with a Gemini, for example, um, you know, Trust me, money, that's like the last thing that you need to be worrying about. Trust me. Because dealing with those type of zodiac signs, you won't ever have to worry about money. Trust me, okay? Even if you're dealing with the Leo, you can be a little scared, okay? Because Leo sometimes, you know, I mean, they're a little cheap too, okay? But <laughs> but they, they really do love their stability, you know? Um... So take it easy. I feel like you guys beat yourself up a lot, and that's not good. So I'm going to read this one more time to you just so you can resonate it, resonate with it or at least try to understand what I'm saying. It says, you are being guided to rest and enjoy yourself and others. Create balance in your life and follow your truths, okay? You will intuitively know when and how to take inspired action. You have immense inner wisdom. <laughs> like I said, Pisces, you are one of the most intuitive signs of the Zodiac. I think you are the most intuitive sign of the Zodiac, yeah. Like I said, it's so many of us that can be intuitive, but you are extremely intuitive, okay? And believe it or not, it can run some people away because they don't get it, they don't understand how you just know all the time <laughs> right but then people that actually appreciate your intuitive nature will love you respect you honor you okay they would cherish you they will literally keep you by their side because they love the way that you think they love the way that you are and honey i will be the first again to remind you that it is has nothing absolutely nothing to do with how much money you got in the bank it has nothing to do with your physicality they love you specifically because of who you are as a person and that my friends is unconditional love okay it has nothing to do with the things that you think that it does okay my love so guys that has been the end of our live readings for zodiac signs at this time if you guys um have not submitted your questions. I can't really look at my messages at this point. So you guys can let me know if you sent me a message about doing a reading and let me know so I can kind of somehow jump in and jump out. I don't know. I left my other um, device upstairs, so I can't check it at the moment. Um, okay. Yeah, even when I do it like that, I was trying to 
check, but I can't check. So anyway, if this live ends and you guys are replaying this video, just simply message me, um, DM me. But after today, we won't be doing a $5.55 rating until next week, okay? But if you guys are really just don't even care and you just want your rating and you don't really care what the price is, cool. Go on my website, visit my website, g1insights.org. You can press book a reading, okay? Create an account with my through my website. Um, check out my candle line as well, guys, okay? Passion versus pleasure. Like I said, I have a few candles here. This is 3.5 ounces. Um, this is 12 ounces, okay? Um, and then we also have three ounces over here is exactly three ounces. So this is one of my favorites is the earth candle here. Many different scents too, guys. So go on my website and check out the scents, okay? Um, but these are considered my holiday candles, okay? Like I said, I have not yet launched them just yet. So... But in the next week or so, you guys will be able to check it out. And I'm like I said, I'm going to do my best to try to keep you guys involved um, and to keep you notified about everything that I'm doing with G1 Insights and Passion versus Pleasure Candle Line. Okay. Um, this is another one that I did. I don't know why this is still on here. <laughs> um, so this is about... Because this one is... Um, this is a different scent. I think this one is this and something else. And lavender is on the top. So this is about three sets in this one right here. Um, same with this one. I think, yeah, this one is lavender on the top as well. But this is lemongrass. Lemongrass. And this one is Orange Blossom. This one is Orange Blossom and something else. I can't remember at the moment. So, but anyway, they're mixed with really good scents, guys. So I tried to mix and match my scents. Um, so, cause like I said, anybody can pretty much go out and buy a apple cinnamon candle, right? And whatever. So of course I'm very dramatic. So I like my candles to be just as dramatic, okay? My candles are a high representation of my dramatic nature. So, guys, I love you, and I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, message me, DM me, visit my website. Of course, you guys are already following me on in social media. So, um, if you guys have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, it is YouTube slash G1 Insights. Okay, guys? So, I have started to upload our September slash October um, Life and Love Energy videos. But as the weeks go on, who knows? I like to drop in and I might do another video, you know, an extended love video for us all. So, just stay tuned. Subscribe so that way you guys can be among the first to find out um, everything that you need to know. Okay? But part one, part two, and part three will be uploaded on Facebook. I mean, not Facebook, sorry, wrong thing. YouTube. Part one, two, and three of my lives tonight will be uploaded onto YouTube. So even though you guys may be replaying this video just now dropping in, like, damn, I missed it. Um, if you can't catch it here on Instagram, or maybe you don't really have time to watch the whole thing, Feel free to check it out tomorrow on YouTube. Um, it will be there, okay? And for those of you that watch on YouTube, I go live every single Tuesday at 6 p.m. Give or take five or ten minutes, okay? Um, <laughs> um, on Instagram, G1 Insights, okay? Guys, follow me on Facebook as well at G1 Insights, okay? I love you. I gotta go, baby.